Hi folks, Carol Ann here from SassyTownhouseLiving.com and today I'm pretty excited because I just purchased the Dyson V7 Motorhead Vacuum and I want to share with you my review as well as provide you with an unboxing video of it today. So if you're thinking of purchasing, please make sure that you watch this entire video and then make a decision. So let's get started and also real quick I have a cold so excuse my voice. So let's get started unboxing and I'm going to show you exactly what you're going to be getting inside the box as well as the performance of this vacuum. So this is what the inside looks like. We just opened it up and of course you get your warranty information, a nice booklet which I didn't open yet, and all of the parts which we're going to be opening right now and I'll show you exactly how to put it together. Okay, so we started to take some of the parts out. That seems to be the base. And I'm going to speed this up so that you're not bored to tears. So as you can see, those two parts clicked in really easy. Yes, yes. You just take the wand, click it in there, take the base, and click the base on. So I'm in my garage, and we decided to um, mount the power charger to our garage wall. And it needs to obviously be near a plug. So you'll want to make sure that you mount it somewhere where you have access to an electrical outlet. And we chose the garage. We think that it'll just work here better because um, the garage door has, and here comes my husband with it, so the sure. garage door accesses directly into my kitchen and there's Ollie. Say hello to Ollie. Say hi, Ollie. So when I need to use the vacuum, it'll be very easy for me just to walk from my garage right into the rest of my house. So we're going to get it mounted and I'll be right back. Okay, so mounting this was super easy. All you do is you get two screws and use the mounting materials that they give you and just anchor it to the wall. And it's up there pretty sturdy. And now we're going to place it in the charger and let it charge. Okay, so I want to show you how this mounts to the wall. All you do is you pull it up and slide it out. And then when you put it back in, you do the same. You just put the battery in and click it back. And it's that easy. Real quick, I want to show you that this is really cool. The two attachments that come with it lock right up in here. So when you want to use it, all you do is pop them in and out. So there, there it is. And I really like that, that they made room for these items in here. And I just love the whole thing so far. And um, it's almost done charging, so I can't wait to test this puppy out. So I want to show you what the bristles look like and they're designed a little differently than most vacuums I've seen and I'm hoping that they don't get all gunked up but this black row here is like a very soft bristle and then the red ones are a lot stiffer like you can hear the difference. See? So I'm wondering what that's all about. I'm going to read in the book and see why they're designed that way. But I, I do like the way this is designed, and I'm going to be putting this vacuum to the test right now. Okay, so um, it took about three, three and a half hours for the battery to charge, and um, that was pretty quick, so I'm pretty impressed about that. A few pointers. This is a very versatile vacuum, so you can disconnect it in, um, from either end of the hose and like take this piece and attach it to this shorter piece and like do your stairs. You can use the attachments um, very easily if you wanted to put the extender wand in to clean like, um, you know, a corner in your ceiling or somewhere high in your ceiling fans. Um, I, I really think I like this vacuum a lot. It's very lightweight. So if you want to get more runtime out of your battery, make sure that you have it on um, extended run. Because if you put it on max, you're going to get a shorter 
runtime with it. So, um, the only thing that I'm not crazy about is that you have to push this button in and hold it there while you're vacuuming. I'm not too crazy about that feature. But, let's give it a run. I mean, it's pretty quiet. And I threw a whole bunch of cookies down on the floor. And it was able to pick it up pretty quickly. And emptying this cup is very easy. Oh, Bali's in here again saying hello to us. So I just wanted to do a quick demo of how you empty this. So all you do is you push up this top latch. And then when you do that, the bottom part pops open and all of the dirt and debris fall right into the garbage pail. Then all you do is push the top back down and then just close the bottom. And it's a very hygienic way because you're never really touching the dirt. It's going right into your garbage pail and it takes literally seconds to do. So I really like that feature. Okay, so I just finished vacuuming my entire townhouse and um, I vacuumed yesterday and lo and behold, this canister is again filled up with dust. So this vacuum is obviously picking up dirt and dust from my floors that I thought were clean and I'm really thrilled with that. That's like the number one reason I'm really thrilled about this vacuum cleaner. So. Um, I definitely recommend it. The price point's really good, too. And um, just like I said, the fact that it's picking up all of this dirt after I thought my floors were clean is enough to really make me be in love with this vacuum. Plus, it's extremely lightweight. Um, it's very easy to clean my stairs. I love the fact that I can easily just pull off the wand and attach the bottom piece here plus use any of the other accessories uh, directly um, to this piece as well. So it makes it easy for me to get in crevices. And another thing I love, and let me show you quickly, watch this. Here's a small space under a pantry, and watch how great this vacuum slides underneath it. So I really love that, that I can get underneath areas like uh, a pantry or underneath my sofa and even though my other vacuum was an expensive and a good one I was not able to do that so that's pretty cool I love that and I wanted to just do like a real you know like a real-time video to show you um, what it's like to own the Dyson V7 and what you can expect when you buy it so um, as I said before, love it. Definitely going to keep it. I'm not going to return it. And I think that it's doing a great job for the small vacuum that it is. I was able to vacuum my entire townhouse on one charge of the battery. And it took me, I'd say, a good 30 minutes to do. And I was able to easily do my entire townhome, um, which is two floors, and I did all the hardwood, all the rugs, and it did not die out, and I still have juice left in there. So I'm thrilled with that as well. So let me know if you have any questions about the vacuum. I'll definitely let you know um, what I think of it. I got mine from Wayfair. They're having a great sale right now. Uh, but then again, when isn't Wayfair having a great sale on something? Um, I was able to get like over $100 off the price. So I'll put the link below for you so you could check it out. And please note that we do use affiliate links, which means if you decide to purchase it from that link, I will receive a small commission. And I greatly appreciate you supporting my YouTube channel doing that. Um, if not, get it wherever you get it, wherever you can get the best deal. But I will put the link there for you because Wayfair is awesome and they have such amazing sales. So thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'll be sure to answer them and have yourself a great and safe day.